Jinan, a bustling city with over 9 million people, covers 10,244 square kilometers, is about the same size as Sydney and has twice the population density. But despite its rapid growth, the city faced a serious problem. The Yellow River, otherwise known as China's Sorrow. This massive river is the second longest in China, which splits Jinan in half, making travel between the north and south incredibly difficult. So engineers decided to go underground, and in record-breaking fashion, they've built the largest underwater tunnel in the world in only 110 days. At 3.6 miles long, with an underground tunneling section of two miles, this tunnel is built to withstand extreme conditions while providing a two-story roadway with three lanes in each direction. But why did China choose to tunnel under the Yellow River instead of building a bridge? Let's find out. The Huanggang Road Yellow River Crossing Tunnel is no ordinary tunnel. First off, it's a two-story road tunnel. Yes, two stories underground. Each level has three lanes for traffic, meaning vehicles can travel in both directions without any bottlenecks. That's six lanes total, which is like fitting a major highway under a river. The internal diameter of the tunnel where cars drive is 50 feet wide, which is wide enough to fit three large trucks side by side with room to spare. The external diameter, which includes the tunnel's thick concrete walls and protective layers, is 55 feet, and this extra thickness is crucial to keep the tunnel safe and stable, especially under the intense pressure from the Yellow River above. You might think, a tunnel is a tunnel, right? Just dig a hole and line it with concrete. But it's not that simple because this 3,395 mile long river is also named the Cradle of Chinese Civilization and is known for its unpredictable and devastating floods. The water is thick with sediment, making visibility low and excavation difficult. Plus, the groundwater pressure here is no joke, hitting up to 7.5 bar, which is about 7.5 times the normal atmospheric pressure which is the equivalent of trying to build a tunnel while the earth is constantly trying to squish it flat. To reinforce the structure, Chinese engineers used advanced segmental lining techniques with precast concrete rings, ensuring strength while minimizing soil displacement. But what's more is their use of slurry shield and earth pressure balanced tunneling machines to stabilize the ground, preventing potential collapses and water intrusion. Then came the cavalry, the big guns, literally. Meet Shanhe, the tunnel boring machine that made this all possible. It's a mixed shield TBM with an excavation diameter of 17.5 meters, making it the largest of its kind in mainland China and one of the largest ever used in the world. To put that in perspective, this machine is about as tall as a five-story building. Designed to handle the toughest underground conditions, especially when there's a lot of water pressure, it uses a combination of mechanical cutting and a special slurry system to stabilize the tunnel face. But Sean He takes it up a notch. It has an automatically controlled air cushion that precisely manages the pressure in the excavation chamber, meaning it can handle varying ground conditions and high water pressures of more than 15 bar without breaking a sweat. The machine's cutter head drive packs a whopping 5,600 kilowatts of power and delivers 35,017 kilonewton meters of torque. That's like having 7,510 horsepower at your disposal, enough to power several small airplanes. All this power allows Sean He to chew through tough geological layers while keeping the tunnel stable and safe. To deal with the sticky, clog-prone clay and sand, Shawnee's cutting wheel is equipped with a flushing system. This keeps the machine running smoothly without getting gummed up. And because sending workers into the pressurized excavation chamber to check on things can be dangerous, Sean He comes with a special telescopic camera system. This lets the team monitor the cutting tools and tunnel face without putting anyone at risk. Construction on the tunnel started on September 1st, 2024. In just 110 days, the team completed the underwater shielding section of the tunnel. That's right, less than four months to build a tunnel under one of the most challenging rivers in the world. Sean He advanced between 52 and 59 feet per day totaling nearly 0.87 miles a month. That's a new world record for a TBM of this size. But speed and power weren't the only challenges. The project team also had to figure out how to deal with the excavated waste slurry material. And considering this is usually a messy, complicated process, they had just the answer, 
They installed jaw crushers, developed a dual-line pipeline hydraulic coring device, and used a waste slurry concentration and filter press system. This kept the construction site clean and minimized the environmental impact of the project. This tunnel is going to make life a lot easier for the millions of people living in Jinan. The new tunnel will absorb about 7.4% of the city's traffic volume in one go, easing congestion and cutting down commute times. But the impact goes beyond just traffic. The tunnel connects the urban area on the south side of the Yellow River with a new state-level strategic pilot zone on the north side. This zone is focused on free trade, innovation, and reform. So the tunnel isn't just linking neighborhoods. It's boosting economic growth and integration across the entire region. And let's not forget the national significance. The tunnel supports China's broader strategy of ecological protection and high quality development of the Yellow River Basin. By improving transportation infrastructure in an environmentally conscious way, this project sets a new standard for future developments in the region. But if the goal was to connect the north and south sides of Jinan, why not just build a bridge? After all, bridges are everywhere, right? They're often quicker to build, and you don't have to worry about digging deep underground. So what made a tunnel the better choice here? Let's break it down. First off, the Yellow River isn't your average river. It's called China's sorrow for a reason. This river is notorious for its unpredictable flow, frequent flooding, and thick layers of silt that pile up over time. Building a bridge over it wouldn't just be challenging, it'd be risky and expensive. The constant shifting of the riverbed and high sediment loads mean the foundation of a bridge would be unstable, requiring constant maintenance and reinforcement. Not exactly ideal for a structure that's supposed to last for decades. And then there's the weather. Jinan experiences harsh winters with heavy snow and ice. Bridges are exposed to the elements, which means they'd need to withstand not just the river's forces, but also the extreme temperature swings. Ice can form on bridge decks, making them slippery and dangerous for drivers. In contrast, a tunnel stays at a stable temperature year round, protecting it from these weather extremes and making it safer for vehicles. And it's also about the location. Jinan is a densely populated city with limited space for large infrastructure projects like bridges. A massive bridge would require huge support structures on both sides of the river, taking up valuable urban land that could be used for homes, businesses, or parks. Plus, it would disrupt the city's skyline and possibly interfere with air traffic routes. A tunnel, on the other hand, stays out of sight and doesn't interfere with the existing landscape, making it a smarter choice for a growing city. And let's not forget the speed factor. While building a bridge might seem quicker, the tunneling process with Shan He set new records. The team completed the underwater shielding in just 110 days, advancing up to 59 feet per day. That kind of efficiency is hard to beat, even for a bridge project. And that's how China pulled off building the largest underwater tunnel with record-breaking speed and precision. What do you think about this mega project Drop your thoughts in the comments below. Don't forget to like this video if you found it interesting, subscribe for more mind-blowing engineering stories, and hit that notification bell so you never miss an update. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.